We've all wondered, what's really out there? Is it just us or could there be life on other planets? That curiosity is what drives our next guest to explore space and work to uncover the secrets of the universe. I'm joined by astrophysicist and artist Dr. Nia Amara here in Studio 57. She is the first black woman to earn a PhD in astrophysics from UC Berkeley. Wow. And you've recently released a new book called Painting the Cosmos, which combines your passion for art and astronomy. A warm welcome to you. Thanks for waking up and being with us today. Um, talk to us about what space really means to you, because here we talk about it in terms of billionaires trying to get to Mars <laughs> and other exploration. But what does it mean to you? You know, space is where we all come from. We all come from the stars. And so space really means to me that we are all interconnected. And it's, it's a place of wonder, of mystery, of awe. In your book, actually, you write that, quote, um, sameness gives birth to nothing. Mm -hmm. Evolution mandates diversity. Absolutely. And diversity makes harmony possible. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Diversity is absolutely necessary for life. And not only that, diversity is what makes life beautiful and, and interesting. And the universe is filled with diversity. And all of these different parts working together is, is what creates harmony. It's, it's what makes life, life possible. I always love the analogy that when you look into the stars, mm -hmm. you are looking at things that make up your own body as well. Like yes. we are made of that. Yes. And, and how then did you come to incorporate your artwork with your kind of academic studies? Well, my paintings really originally had nothing much to do with, with astronomy and the stars, but one of the commonalities between astronomy and painting is that astronomy is the science of light and color. And I absolutely love color, so my, my paintings are very vibrant, very very luminous, and that's definitely one of the main connections with astronomy. We're looking at some of your artwork now. Can you walk us through some of your portraits, what they mean? Yes, well, I'm captivated by the human face, by the, the human expression. There's so much mystery in the human personality, and I think that's really another commonality with space. There's so much mystery in space, and, you know, this is something that we can be intimidated by, or it's something that we can really embrace and allow to, to humble and awe us. Is this the missing piece when it comes to how we discuss science and space and, and, and encouraging younger people to be interested, that it's actually a place of wonder and exploration and joy as much as it is math and science, which can keep a lot of people like me away? <laughs> Yes, you know, science really requires so much creativity, and mm -hmm. many people, unfortunately, are often intimidated by, by astronomy, which is just the study of the stars and the galaxies and how the universe works. But science really requires so much creativity. It's, it's, a, it's an endeavor that utilizes the imagination. And yes, it's, it's really something that I think if we were to humanize more, it would really draw more people in. And this is kind of the cornerstone of your book, Painting the Cosmos. What kind of reaction are you getting? Because it's just been released. Mm -hmm. I know you're touring now to publicize it. What uh, feedback are you getting from people? I think people are really excited, you know, to see this really more humanized perspective of science. Oftentimes, um, people are very curious about how to combine art and science. How, does, how do we do that in a culture where they often seem so separate? And so I think this book is really filled with a lot of surprises that's going to captivate people and hopefully inspire and, and encourage people to maybe pursue paths or, or bring things together in their lives that, you know, were often treated as, as separate. I just love the combination of art and science. Mm -hmm. the, the paintings are beautiful. What you do uh, professionally is, is phenomenal as well. Dr. Nia Amara, mm -hmm. thank you so much for waking up and joining us. Here thank today. you for having me.